Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Brain Logic, and let's solve this really interesting mass challenge. Right here we have 3 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, we have simple uh, subtraction, simple division, so what is the correct answer? Let's check our supercomputer in our head, so let's pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. What do you think is a correct answer? We have three options A, B and C, so right now choose one option, what do you think is a correct, and write your option down into the comment section. This is very tricky challenge, okay? So here's our question, here's our here's our option. So right now let's try to let's try to solve it. So here's our first interpretation. So first type of student solve this question like that. So we have 3 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. So first type of student solve this question like that. They say okay we have 3 minus 1 right here on the left hand side which is equal to 2 and we have 3 minus 1 so the same expression on the right hand side which is equal to 2 so 2 divided by 2 equal to equal to 1 we have this option A. So first type of student solve this question like that they say that the correct answer to this challenge is is one option option A. But I want you to understand that a lot of students solve this question like that this is mm, this is 100% I see this question is this is answer in my comment section but I want you to understand that uh, a lot of students solve this question in their own way so this looks like a randomly method so we can't we just we don't solve this question according to order of operation okay we solve this question absolutely randomly but in terms of math we should know what is the correct order to do this problem because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer right so we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem so right now let's write our second interpretation let's rewrite it so we have 3 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. Okay, here's our order of operation. So right now let's apply this order of operation to our to our challenge. Okay, let's do this. And then we will have like maybe the different answer, but we will check with this one. Maybe one is the correct answer, I don't know exactly, but let, right now let's solve this question according to this PMDMC order of operation. Okay, this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, so parentheses has the highest priority and addition and subtraction has the lowest priority. So let's start with this parentheses, so from the top in a strict order from the top to the bottom. So the first step is parentheses, let's scan, for me personally I don't see any parentheses, we don't have any brackets, so we just skip this part. Okay, what about exponents? I don't see any exponent, we don't have any exponent, any powers, any squares, cubes, fifths power, tenths power, I don't have any of those, so we just, we just skip this part. Next step, multiplication division group. Let's scan where do we have this multiplication division sign. Let's look at it. Multiplication division sign. I don't see any of those. I don't see any multiplication sign, okay? But division sign, I see right here in the middle. So we just skip this multiplication part. We don't have it. But we have this division sign right here in the middle. And this is really great because it looks like this is our first step to solve this, to solve this challenge, okay? So here's our division in the middle, so let's divide at first. This is our first step and completely different step with this one. So we have three minus one over three, let's write as a fraction, okay? So one third, okay, one third and minus minus one. Okay, we just divide it. Of course, we can write it in a decimal approximation, but right now for this question, we let's write it according to uh, as a fraction, okay? Okay, let's go to the further steps. Right here, of course, we don't need order of operation right now because we have only subtraction, but of course, let's write it. So we don't have an addition sign. We have, we have subtraction sign. So this is our second step, is our, is our subtraction. So let's subtract uh, uh, right here. So three minus one equal to two and two minus one uh, equal to, so right here we have 2, 2 minus 1 third, so we have like 2 minus 1 third. We can write this 2 as, uh, for example, 6 over 3, so 6 over 3 minus 1 over 3 equal to 5 over, over 3. So as you can see, we have a completely different answer. This is option C, this is option A. And here's maybe the main question, what is the correct answer? A or C? This is a really interesting moment because a lot of students confused about this answer, a lot of students arguing with, it, with each other about this, about this challenge, because right here we have option A, right here option C, two different options, and what is the correct answer? And here's my answer for you. Of course, correct answer is option C, because we solve it according to a correct order of operation. This is absolutely wrong solution, because we subtract it first, then divide, which is really bad in terms of math. Of course, with parentheses, this question is, is correct, because then we should uh, evaluate the expression inside parentheses at first, and parentheses is our first step, so then we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses. So we have like 3 minus 1, 2, and right here we can easily jump, because this is our first step, we should evaluate all parentheses that we have. So, okay, so the first step, parentheses, parentheses, and then division. So a correct answer with parentheses, this is option 
option A. In our case, we don't have parents, so we just skip this part. And correct answer, of course, this option 5 over 3, because we solve it according to a correct order of operation. We just divide it first, this is our first step, and then subtract, which is really important moment, because we should learn this rule that multiplication division group is before addition and subtraction. So addition and subtraction is our final step, and the highest priority is parentheses. So this is all the thing you should know about this PMDMC multiplication division. So we should evaluate all the, all the expression with parentheses uh, with a multiplication division, and then you can easily end it with addition and subtraction. So this is really important moment about PMDMC. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you made this error, I'm happy you made this, because you won't make this error again. You'll be like, okay, now I get it. So let's go ahead and apply the order of operation, and you'll get better at this through, through practice. On the other hand, if you don't trust me, you can easily check this question in your scientific or graphing calculator, but don't use your regular calculator, because you know some calculators work with this problem as you type it in. So if you plug in this, if you plug in this question in your regular calculator, you know sometimes calculators gives you, for example, three minus one. Some calculators gives you two right here, and because calculator don't know what you have further, that you have division, they don't know about it, and you should put, you should type the whole entire problem, and then your calculator is smart enough to know the order of operation. They divide at first, then subtract from left to right. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a ton of videos on my channel. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos.